I lift myself off the ground one pull at a time. The rope passes through a pulley, then an ascending device that clips to my harness. It takes me 97 pulls to reach the first branch. Wildlife catches my eye as I ascend. Mosquitoes follow me the whole way up. On the ground, most of them are small and black, but as I move into the canopy, I notice that many of them are blue with long filamentous legs. Although, all their bites just feel the same. I'm interested in how animals move through the rainforest canopy. When I enter the treetops, I see a three-dimensional network of pathways that connect one tree to the next. Food to shelter, shelter to food. I want to know what a trail looks like for a monkey, a squirrel, a possum. Some people call them canopy highways, but no one's really keeping tabs on them. I place motion-sensitive cameras, or camera traps, in the canopy of the rainforest. Animals cross in front of the camera, and within a fifth of a second, it takes a photo. Then another. Then another. I search tirelessly through the photos for clues that might help me answer my questions. In the beginning, I got lots of not-so-useful photos. Me setting up cameras, or coming back to retrieve them, sliding out of view, or just striking a pose. My first camera took over a thousand pictures of branches warmed by the sun moving in the breeze. I was less than impressed. Now that I've figured out how to minimize these types of photos, each successful shot feels like a small victory. The quest for knowledge pushes science further and further into new frontiers. Researchers throughout the ages have searched the world over, leaving little uncharted territory. Fortunately for me, most of them haven't bothered to look up. My name is Kevin McLean, Yale Forestry student and National Geographic Young Explorers grantee.